Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and in this video I will be explaining conversions. This is the part one. I think I'm going to be making two or three parts to conversions. I don't want to overwhelm anyone with too much information in one video. So let's just get straight into it. So with this part, we're going to be mainly talking about meters, liters, and grams. So if you haven't heard about this method, it's Ken Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Instead of memorizing um, K, H, D, B, D, C, M, which is really difficult to do, it's easier to just remember um, Ken Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. So by remembering that, you're automatically remembering um, kilo for the K, hecto, deca, deci, centi, and milli. And for the B right here, B is simply like the basic units. And what I mean by the basic units is the meter, liter, and then the gram. So I'll explain as I go better into the video. So as we can see, it's still Ken Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. It would be good if you go back and then you take a screenshot of the previous screen. There was this. Just so on the day of your exam, you could just like glance at it and then it will help you remember if anything. So let's get back here. So we're still using Ken Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. So for the exam's sake, I would only be talking about grams, liters, and milliliters in terms of the milli and the kilo. I have never seen any questions on like hecto, deci, deca, centi, and all of that. But it's the same approach. So with here, with the milli side, we could see the millimeter, milliliter, milligram, and then for the K side, we could see kilometer, kiloliter, and then a kilogram. So we simply just added the uh, prefixes to it, the K to the M, and then the N to the M. That's simply what it is. And before I start the questions, let me also explain this. When you have a whole number, for example, like two, someone might be wondering where the decimal point is. Always remember that the decimal point is behind the last number, if it's a whole number. So let's say if we have a whole number like two, two could also be written as 2.0. So the decimal point is there, it's just ignored or it's like imaginary. But if you should have a whole number and you kind of don't remember where the decimal point is, always know it's behind the last number. So when I get my question, the first thing I usually do is to write Ken Henry died by drinking chocolate milk in the corner somewhere. So I'm just going to write it here. Ken Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And then I rewrite the question. So I'm supposed to be changing grams to milligrams. So I'm just going to write where my grams is going to be. From before, we know the grams is under basic. So grams is here. And the milligrams is going to be under the M. So the first thing you want to know is which direction am I going to be moving the decimal point? The question says grams to milligrams. So grams is right here and milligrams is here. So we're moving from this side to this side. So we're moving to the right side. So the first thing is to find direction. And with this question, the direction is to the right. The second thing is to ask yourself how many steps or points away is a decimal point going to be? So since it's gram to milligram and we're moving to the right side, we're just going to count. So from here is going to be um, one, two, three. So it's three steps to the right side. So let's write three. So three are. So let's just rewrite the question. It's going to be 0 
and we're simply going to move the decimal point three steps away to the right. So it's going to be one, two, three. And the new decimal point is here. So our answer is going to be one, four, two, point zero. The point zero isn't necessary, but I just want to show where the decimal point is. So 142.0 is the same as 142. So it's going to be, the answer will simply be 142 milligrams. 142. Now we can move to question two. The same thing like I did before. We're just going to write, King Henry died by chocolate milk. We're going to know which units we're using. It's the gram and gram is under basic and then milligram. Milligram is going to be under M. First thing to do is what? find the direction. So since it's grams to milligrams, grams to milligrams we're going in the right direction like the first question. So let's just write. Let's just write right. Oh boy. So R and then we're going to find how many steps the decimal point is going to be moved. How many times is going to be moved? So since it's going to the right side, we're going to simply count. It's going to be one, two, three. So now let's rewrite the question. It's four. Remember that the decimal point is behind the last number since four is a whole number. Now we're going to move the decimal point um, three times. So it's going to be to the right side. So it's going to be one, two, three. Then you're going to fill the empty spaces with zeros. So let's write one zero here, one zero there, and one zero there. So our answer now is four grams is equal to 4,000 milligrams. That's it. Let's move to question number three. The first thing you do is write King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. It's kilograms to milligrams. So kilograms is on this side and milligrams is going to be under the M. The second thing is to find a direction. Um, the question says kilograms to milligrams. So we're moving from this side to this side. So that's the right side. So let's just write R and then find how many points away we're going to move. So you could just count from the K all the way to the M. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six steps away to the right side. So let's write six here. And now Let's solve it. So six three zero point six three. We're moving the decimal point six steps to the right. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's fill the empty spaces with zero. So one, two, three, four. The answer is going to be six three with four zeros so let's write that six three zero 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 so it's going to be six hundred and thirty thousand milligrams let's do the last question and then i have two more questions for you in the end that you could try yourself to see how you do so for two thousand milliliters first thing can Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. It's milliliters to liters. So the liter is the basic unit. And then the milliliter goes under the M. So milliliter. Question says ML to liter. So we're going from this side to this side. So it's going to the left side. So let's just write L. 
and let's count how many steps. So it's going to be one, two, three. So it's still three steps, but this time it's to the left side. So let's write three here. Then we rewrite the question, which is two, zero, zero, zero. And then the decimal point is here. We're moving it to the left side three times. So one, two, three. So the new decimal point is here. Our answer is simply 2.0, or you could just write two to make it easier. So I have two questions. The first one is 240 milligrams into grams, and then the second one is 0 0.6 milliliters to liters. Let me know how you do. Let me know if this video was helpful. You can leave me comments on anything you want me to explain further or any new video you want me to make. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in my next video.